Sonia, thank you again for your interest in the Tiffany Clicker Press. I am going to demonstrate the Clicker 1500 and the Clicker 700 cutting through um, cardstock. Okay, this is, um, I think it's probably 100 pound cardstock here. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to cut through with this business card die. This is a die that we talked about. So 0.937 steel rule uh, die. This one was laid out for business cards. This has. This has approximately 60, uh, I think 61 linear inches of pattern. With this press, you can do, a, do 120 linear inches of pattern with this type of die. And with a forged die, the other type of die we talked about, this is a forged die, also called a feed-through die. This type of die, inch and a quarter high, this die will do 60 linear inches of pattern on this press. On this press, this type of die will do 30. And this type of die will do 60. Okay? So, real quick, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the uh, 1500 press cutting through would be four layers of the cardstock. Okay? Slide it in and click it out. Pull the die out and everything cut. Okay? Show you how this turned out here. So, as you can see, I got nice clean cuts on all the cards here. Now, there was, it looks like a little um, creasing. You can see there, creasing or crushing went on. But the, the way you'd remedy that, you would actually put uh, more ejection foam into the cavity. This would be a solid sheet of ejection foam. That would allow it, um, or that would not allow it to uh, crease or crinkle. Okay, so right there I cut through four layers of uh, the, the uh, card stock, so I actually cut uh, 64 business cards with one cycle of the press, okay? So yeah, you can see I got a nice clean cut there, 64 business cards cut with one cycle of the press. Okay. Now this type of die also, or this type of die, uh, you can build registration pins into it. That sheet of paper that I just cut was a uh, larger than eight and a half by uh, eleven, but this die was designed to cut an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. That's what these little spring pins are for. Therefore, you can easily align your material to uh, line up with with printing on there. So next, on this larger press, I'm going to demonstrate. The forged die, or also what's called the uh, feed-through die. Now, with this type of die, you actually cut uh, die blade down, meaning your die will be on top, facing right down. So I'll take the material, okay, and then I'll set my die on top of the material. Now, with this type of die, with the forged die, you would simply align by op since there's no way to necessarily register it. So we'll slide it in, push it out, and then right there, I got a nice clean cut, okay? And again, I could actually cut up to a three quarter inch thick stack of material with that die. I think right there I probably cut, I think I cut through 15 sheets of the park stock there, okay? Again, I'll demonstrate that one more time. Slide it in, click it out. And you get a nice clean cut. Now, the 700 press works identical to the 1500 press, except it has half of the cutting power. So, with this steel rule die on this press, I can actually only do one layer at a time. There's not enough pressure for this die with 61 inches to cut through more than one layer of this cardstock. Now I cut, I cut this cardstock down. It's not lined up perfectly because it's not. This is I didn't do a very good job of uh, cutting the sheet down. But I wanted to cut this down so that the sheet fit within the eight and a half by eleven pins. So I'll just slide that in, cut it out. Now your dwell time will vary from pattern to pattern and die to die. You know, by dwell time you mean how long you're going to hold the buttons. 
And as you can see, that did a nice job too of cutting all of the pieces out of the uh, out of the die. So that time when I cycled the press, I got I got eight nice cuts, cut eight business cards. Okay. So that's how that would work. Uh, now I will demonstrate this press as well, cutting with the uh, forge die, just so you can see how that works. Just need to get a cutting board for that. Okay, again, with the forge die, we're going to cut die blade down. Okay, so just take a couple sheets of paper. Again, with the forge die, you can do up to three quarter inch thick. So I'll take the material, the die, slide it in. Cut it out. Let's see, we get a nice clean cut. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to send this uh, video link over to you, and then I will give you a call to discuss. Thank you.